Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's a stadium tour. What? Oh, what's this in there? Is this Sports Direct signs? Yes. They are all finally coming down. I'm not too sure which ones are gone yet, but the majority of them are gone. So today we're going to head into the stadium tour and see which ones are still there, see which ones are gone. But anyway, guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you get down and subscribe. Smash that enjoy. Appreciate the support as always. My birthday is tomorrow, so thanks to the Vans for any birthday messages. Early birthday present this, all this in the skip where it belongs. Oh, horrible. I'm glad it's in there. That's where it belongs. That sums up our football club and the make Ashley rubbish. But anyway, guys, well, that's about it. Really excited little rant there. But without further ado, let's get in. So as the mobile and reception Christmas tree is up, there is no sports direct sign. Remember, it used to be a massive one up there. They get on the screen now, and it's all shoe on Saturday, but that's gone. Huge one, that one in your face is skin. But yeah, in terms of the outside ones, are all gone. Or are all gone on the inside, or that is the question now. There's Federico Fernandez. San Paul, is it? How are doing, guys? That's kind of cool to see. Yeah, there's a little bit of Newcastle's trophy cabinet, not the full amount, but it's not much bigger to be fair. That is the last major one Newcastle won 52 years ago. I'm sure over the next five years or so we'll be seeing plenty more trophies in there. Hopefully not this one, yeah, the championship one. But yeah, it's been a long time coming, but this club is back. This is always quite a unique part though, too often for me seeing all the Bobby Robson stuff. I mean, one of the greatest football managers ever. And again, there's not many other football clubs in England where you see this sort of collection for manager, apart from the likes of obviously Alex Ferguson, etc. But all of a kind, so Bobby will never be forgotten. And I'm glad we have someone like this in the tour because it will, that's people will be reminded who he was. Of course, for new Newcastle fans as well, who he is. And uh, yeah, some collection. I mean, look at the size that manager of the season reward over there. Look at that. But. Yeah, you look at Alan Shiva as well, Gil, his testimonial shirt to be in the display, got to respect that. But again, what a collection that is. There's Joe Linton down there. Hi, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> that was Fraser, so I didn't see him actually, but I don't know what I had to do, but that's cool to see. There we go. We have listed buildings belonging to Newcastle University, Jesus Terrace, and as the heritage laws stand today, we cannot build any kind. See two cameras, they are Hawkeye cameras, blue line technology cameras, and then the two bed 365. Oh, we're seeing the D get taken down now, that's so cool to watch. We are seeing the depth of sports direct. Now the three balls on the top, that is the highest. Here we are, show these box ones again. What a baller. <coughs> right, so what happens here, match day? Not final that as it goes down. are coming down there. Eh? Only one remains. Maybe other. There we are. The blue letters are coming down now. We're seeing the death alive, guys. Love it. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Have a sit down. <coughs> just, just beyond the wall there, we'll see the perspex screens. Now that's where the press and local radio are. Now, seven scenes ago now, we extended the director's office. One of the, one of the um, press could work from the workstations down there with the weather conditions. So all their reports for newspapers, radio and television was done by the screen, television screens in the media suite. Hasn't happened since, but believe me, they've had a few shortens in their time. Tell them to stop making a noise, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions? Oh. Yeah. She was sitting up with her man, the Stevie. Yeah. Right. yeah, I think she'll be sitting in these, these seats here. Yeah. Okay. The final letter next to the Cass United, and then we've got one more left. 
beautiful sight to love at. Oh, there's the plastic. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Just quickly to get changed. Yeah, you're right. Are you alright? That was the wager or something. Looks as good as always. Through there is now the fitness room. It has head tennis, whatever. We've got apparatus in there, and that's one of the first things which Eddie Howe has spotted at this club. No fitness room, and it's so the, the players' lounge has been gutted, and as I say, it's now a fitness room. So that's the first of what I would say many changes in this football club. Here yeah, we've got all the different equipment, the new studio room. That looks nice. Be interesting to see how that develops over the years. There's all the leftovers from the Burnley win, all the different diets to put out. There's Lucas here, they've got all sorts here. Don't know what's inside the little gift baskets there, but. Ah, oh, interesting to see though. There's the other female officials, the referees, the linesmen. It's great to see. Hopefully, we'll see some more in the Premier League in the future, but in terms of now, it's heading to Eddie Howe's media room. There it is, it's been taken down. That's all that's left. Sure, I'll clean out over the next couple of days, but there it is, you cast that out, Sports Direct. Beautiful. Roundsman comes in, checks his computer. If there's any problems on that pitch, it's shown on the screen, and he goes, he knows exactly where to go to to correct. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy watching that video. The death of Sports Direct St James's Park getting there. That was class. Love doing that. Got six match programs for free. Uh, we saw Jordan Fraser and Fernandez up close. We saw them take down the Sports Direct signs next to Castle. I mean, that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Two I gave was good as always. I mean, no disrespect to the two I gave. I didn't even go for that. I just went just to see this Sports Direct signs down. But I was good as always. Heard some really good stories. Uh, I fully enjoyed it. Really did. I well, highly recommend you guys if you come down here to do the stadium tour. Due to COVID, you can't sit down and get like pictures of the media stuff at the minute, but you can still see it with your own eyes and uh, you never know, and you may pop into some plaza like I did. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. That is symbolic. That is where Sports Select belongs. It belongs in the skip, it belongs in the rubbish, it belongs out of the castle. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. Hope you guys enjoy watching. I'll see you on the next one.